All right, what's up, everybody? This is Marmof X Forever, and welcome to another episode of um, Let's Power Up Your LCD Display. So we've already done the most popular thing possible that you can do in Vex Robotics with an LCD display, which is to select autonomous. We've done that fairly nicely. And uh, in the future videos, I'm actually going to use the uh, robot simulator to show you how that works. If you don't have a, um, if you don't have an, any access to any Cortex like what I'm dealing with right now, uh, so that's good. Uh, now let's think. We have this driver control view value structure. What is the second most popular thing that everybody talks about? I mean, you have to do if you have an LCD. That is to display your battery voltage on your LCD display screens, which is very handy feature. You don't have to actually go in there and, uh, I mean, use your voltmeters to actually measure the battery voltages. Although this is not so um, accurate, it's not so precise, it's, it's um, uh, I mean, because uh, the, uh, uh, I mean, the system, global variables of the battery voltage that's not so precise, but it's still pretty handy to, uh, I mean, you can directly see your battery voltage on your LCD display screen. You can know whether I'm good or not. You, you, I mean, you can just basically know whether I'm in eight volts range, like fully charged, or I'm about to drop down to six. So that's, it's going to really help when you're doing autonomous. So, um, before that, I have to introduce an idea. So right here, we have a command out display LCD number that allows you to directly display a, a variable or a number uh, in certain digits on your um, LCD display screen. You, you might ask, why don't we just directly use this thing? Um, well, the reason is that this thing can only display integers. And for a battery voltage, we want it to say, uh, for instance, 7.22 volts rather than 722. Well, I mean, which would have made sense, but we, we always wanted to say um, 7.22, so we know it's 7.22 volts. That that just makes more sense. And uh, you cannot display a float value, which is a, a decimal value, on uh, uh, the LCD display screen with this command. So the thing we have to do is that we have to convert, using a special command, we have to convert this um, uh, I mean, this decimal value, this float value into a string of characters. And then we display that string of characters on the LCD display screen, which is basically what the, um, uh, if you go look it up, this is basically what RobotC block tells you. Uh, so let's get started. Let's go declare a user function for it. Display batter, batter rate values. Values, great. And then let's immediately copy and paste this thing into our structure so that it doesn't just say currently empty. Let's go delete that thing. Uh, fix formatting, it's great. Pop program, no mistake, awesome. And then we start writing in the display battery values. So first we need to declare two variables and these variables are strings which means they're strings of character we need to store the uh, strings in these variables so we declare string uh, we say uh, main battery main battery battery voltage and we do backup battery voltage and right now at this very place I have to clarify something because we're gonna display two we have two lines why don't we just display two battery values uh, right now what I'm showing you is the backup battery voltage and people often confuse this backup battery with your power expander your backup ba battery is the 9 volt battery that you buy from the store to put in that little bracket to directly hook up with the two wire cord to your cortex that basically doesn't do anything uh, but it makes your LCDs, uh, excuse me, it, but it makes your LEDs on your robot all green during a match and it just basically makes sure that it just basically guarantees the, um, the uh, wireless connection. That is what you call a backup battery. Uh, right now, this is uh, the voltage of that battery around nine is what we, is what we are going to display right now. 
the battery voltage of the um, the power expander battery, which is going to be around seven, is not what what we are going to display right now. So the backup battery is not your power expander. To display power expander, you have to do some some other thing. You have to hook that thing up. Have to hook that thing up with an analog port and stuff like that, and uh, which we will do in future videos. All right, so we're displaying the backup battery, not the secondary battery. So, do, excuse me, not the power expander battery. You know, I'm getting confused. Don't get confused. All right. So first, we gotta say something on the screen. Say, for instance, um, main battery. Let's just display display LCD string string. Let's display LCD string and uh, let's display from the first line, starting from the first character, which is de which is designated by zero, zero to fifteen, uh, corresponding to one to the sixth, uh, the first or the sixteenth character on the LCD screen, and we are going to say that main battery problem. How many characters is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's too much. This is a main. Main. That's yeah. In column is gonna be nice. Switch main. Come on. Main is nice. And this also got display. LCD string. Uh, we are gonna display on the second line. We are gonna display the um, uh, backup battery. So we get zero and um, back. Backup. That's nice. All right. So basically, right now we're not converting anything. We are not displaying any changing stuff. We're just putting these words on the actually display screen. So how many characters? Is that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I guess I'll start from the character number eight. All right. So display LCD screen. That's good. And now we are going to use a command called Sprint F to convert a variable. Or a float number into one of the strings and store it in, in that string, and then we're going to display these strings. So the Sprint F, um, uh, I mean, you can basically look up. Uh, there's like a whole page of formatting options in, uh, I mean, for C language and uh, for Robot C, it's basically just all the operators and uh, these things. It just follows C convention pretty well. Um, you can go look it up online, and right now I'm, I'm not going to spend too much time on it. Let's just walk through it. So first, we're going to say that we're going to store it into the uh, main battery voltage. Yeah, we're going to store it into the main battery voltage. This is the variable we are going to store it in. And then here is our format in which we are going to display it in. So the format is it is something like this. First, we have a percentage sign, and then we are going to say that we want to display it somehow like seven point. Two something, seven point two something. It might be seven point two one, seven point two two. In this case, the format says that we're going to display it as one point two f. The f means float, which means that we're going to display one uh, digit right here, and then a point, and then we're we're going to display a um the um uh, one of the decimal places and the second decimal place we are going to display as a floating value, which means that value is going to change. We don't know. And um, then we are going to because we have another character display, we want to say that to seven point two zero volts. We're gonna say V. So we are gonna end this. If you just want to display this number, this right now it's totally fine. But because you want to display another character behind it, gotta close this up, saying that this is the exact variable we want to display. So. And then we want to close it up with a C, which means it's a character. We want to display one more character right behind it. And then, so what's the variable? What is this part going to be referring to? That is going to be the system um, parameter n immediate battery value, battery level. That's your main battery level. And we want to display, divide that by 1000.0 because it is an integer in uh, which is 1000 times the actual battery reading it's that has that resolution and then finally we are going to display uh, a little character which is something right here we're going to display a character put a character into the c spot 
which is so, which is the V. So if you do that, it's going to display something like seven point two one V. That's something it's going to display. And we're just going to copy the same thing, copy and paste the same thing for the um, backup vector voltage. And I'm just going to pause that because we're running out of time. All right, we just inserted the system parameter, uh, the uh, system uh, global variable backup battery level, same thing divided by 1000, same formatting, store into a different string. All right, that's, that's very good. Now, have two, now we have two changing strings that's going to be updated every 10 milliseconds. So how are we going to put that thing on the display screen? It's the same thing. Display LCD string. We display the first thing on the first line. And uh, we are going to display that in the eighth slot, I believe, because right now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, we are going to display that in the ninth slot, actually. So we're going to have eight rather than nine because it's zero to 15 corresponding to one to 16. So we're going to have eight, zero, eight. And then we're going to say that in the first line, we're going to display the string of main battery voltage right here. And without your uh which is right right now we just want to display this rather than a string so this is good um rather than string of characters and we're going to have the same thing display lcd see the string zero uh excuse me one eight um backup, backup. string that's good and uh, compile program is save and that should be how you display the battery voltages and I'm gonna pause for a second then pull out my PC emulator make sure everything's running correctly all right so as I was testing it I noticed that there's a little just a one small bug um, which is that when we start the user control we forgot to clear the LCD so we gotta clear that so it's a clear LCD all right, let's see how it works now. All right, I think I have it fixed. Right now, what I'm doing is that I'm, I'm uh, running this program on a PC-based emulator, so it might look kind of quirky because I have to actually go in there and manually disable the tasks to get to the task I want to. I can't seem to pull out my um, handy field control right now because the PC is a PC simulation. Let's go and start and see how this does. Startup is the default display. Right now it's running autonomous selection. Let's go into autonomous essay. Let's go select autonomous 12. And the, right now it's the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, main program running. Let's go ahead and, uh, um, excuse me. We have to go ahead and forcefully start user control and stop this thing. So we're starting user control and let's swap back, clear the screen. This is what you should, what it should look like if you download the code onto your robot directly. Uh, because the uh, on your robot it is started by default the um, yeah I mean the user control uh, mode and this is what it should look like because I'm running with my computer uh, the backup battery voltage is just zero and the main is by default seven point four um, but you should see these values skipping and changing as you change a, 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 as you play with the robot this is what it really should look like and if you swap right and swap left you can see that's currently empty which is entered so we're going to fill in those empty slots as time goes um, so this looks pretty nice a pretty nice little feature that can let you see your battery voltage values so i uh, hope you learn something i do think this is very helpful this did help me a lot when i was making autonomous in, in Skyrise to make sure that the uh, battery voltage stayed relatively constant, although this is not so precise. So um, this is it, how to display battery voltage on your LCD screen. This is Marmavex Driver, and I will see you in the next video.